Rise and shine, y'all. All right, so today we are in Willow, California. At this cool little spot out here, it's not a truck stop, it's just a big old lot where a lot of people don't know about. Gotta clean the windshield. We're gonna ran into a bug storm last night. <laughs> so, so with this load, we got um, this whole bunch of food and stuff. It's, um, it's a jet row account. So, we I saw these jet rolls accounts you deliver to these, to this like this private restaurant stuff. Like it's a private restaurant you deliver to, and um, not actually not a restaurant. I'm sorry, store. And people come there and get their food, their own restaurants and other stuff from what the guys told me that was there. So I got three deliveries on this trailer. So going to Oakland now. Then from Oakland. And going after that I'm going to Fresno. The Fresno. No. From San Jose. Then to Fresno. Weight is pretty light on here. It's, it's not that much of a weight. Um, it's pretty cool, man. But um, for all y'all new Martin people that's out there that want to know how to work this call, come. How many tracks? Um, it's really cool because we got the navigation system. It's okay to bring your own navigation system, but Martin would like to, you to use this thing right here this 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 yeah um because if you're using just yours which is nothing wrong with yours but if yours gets you in a messed up area low clearance bridges um areas to where trucks is not okay to be then martin can't martin won't be able to back you up from what i was told in orientation so um check calls you have to do this every morning you go to your workflow you, this is your trip plan. This is what my trip plan looked like. Pick this load up and Greater Pacific. Actually, it was a late load. Um, jet row was supposed to be delivered yesterday at 9 30 p.m., but it was a late load, so I had to do a running late. So I'm delivering it today, this afternoon. Then after that, I go down to the other place, deliver it to there, today, in Fresno. But every morning you wake up, you have to send a trip, uh, check call. You hit select. And then like check calls is basically like, hey, I'm alive, this, this, that, that. You know, they don't, you know, if not, your fleet manager call you just can't be going and not say anything because they don't know if the truck is stolen. They don't know anything. You have to communicate. Um, so you also load trailer number, ETA for next stop select your temp right now I'm running a frozen load so my temp is negative one yeah, negative oh negative I put one I already did this so I'm not gonna fill this out so we're running on schedule no or yes units on continuous mode that's your refer attention a new important <laughs> message has arrived just got a message unit on continuous mode that's your refer I'll go over in the, in the video on how to actually, it's just really simple on how to work that because this is my first time running reefer ever. It was really simple. Um, hours available when empty. Sometimes you would know, sometimes I just guess two, three, four, whatever, whatever. Produce load, no. If you ever have a produce load, you have to do two check calls a day. And after that, you hit done. So, then you do an inspection. You can do an inspection on your phone, which with the app that you have on your phone for the Martin app. You just basically like your pre-trip. Anything that you find that's wrong, you mark it down so it can be actually marked. And you basically mark in the system. Um, and then after that, if you don't find anything, you know, go use the bathroom, go do your things, you're ready to go. All right, so now out to outside to how to work the reefer. Uh, oh, uh, creeper van over there. All right, it's gonna be pretty loud. 
turn this off, I might get in trouble. All right, so, yeah, I'm gonna get in trouble, but oh well. Turn it on, that's the on button. This is the off button. It says it right there, on, off. Configuring system, please wait. Now you can do a pre-trip for these by itself. It does a pre-trip for itself. You can go in the menu and find that. So you just don't hook up to these, then just take off without even turning it on or even doing a pre-trip because you might get one that's all messed up. Other drivers are not gonna see anything. Sometimes they might not notice. A lot of times they might not see anything. <laughs> just being honest. Yeah. But it's just a couple of buttons you use. You really never change like the uh, the name of the product because you can go like you can change it to bananas. You can change it to a lot of things. All right. So set product temp gauges sense sensor then menu. When I first looked at this, I was like, what the world? So the set product temp. <clears throat> now it's starting up. Come on, come on. So, you want to go to menu, come up this menu, you can go to pre trip. And you can also pre trip it. It'll tell you anything that's wrong with it, along like any codes that it has. You can also go to alarms. It'll tell you any other alarms that's wrong with it. Gauges, sensors, you know, anything. Fuel usage. Now the mode is what you're mainly gonna be using. Pre-trip and mode is what you're gonna be using. The mode is basically if you want it to be running continuously or if you want it to run on a cycle. Now you just go down to mode, I'm gonna go back. Menu, down button, Let's select. Now, turn off cycle. That means turn it on continuously. But when it's frozen loads, you want it to keep it on cycle. When it's other loads, when you see that turn off cycle, turn, that means continuously it's gonna come on. When it says turn off continuously, that means it's gonna turn on cycle. So I know it gets kind of confused because sometimes I gotta say it back to myself. But that's the, basically, so that's the other one. Oh, keep put time out. So that one, that's one you're gonna be using a lot. And free trip. I'm not gonna click on that one because it's running. Alright. Set point temp for name. Barely gonna change that one. Numeric. That's the number. Numeric. So right now it said negative one. Set point. Yeah, I was trying to catch it when it was off, but those fucking things allowed. When I first started working with those things. Um, when I first started working with those things. And actually sleeping in this truck, I couldn't sleep. I thought I thought a damn Swift truck hit me. <laughs> but um, um, so I'm gonna, I'll show y'all a little bit more. And um, I'm not gonna get into a lot into this video. The GPS codes, how you enter the codes for Martin and stuff. 
anybody else that need to know a lot of stuff before you come to Martin, you can be a step ahead. Because I'm not going to lie, when I first started working for Martin and I got here, I was calling up the peer mentors, Frank and everybody, and calling my fleet manager. I was like, but what the fuck do I do? I need some help, this, this, that, that. So they only give you three days in orientation up here in, in Oregon. Don't know about everyone else? Don't know. Three days to cover a lot of shit. A lot. So I don't see nobody else making videos about this to help other drivers out. I have ran into other drivers that need help with this. Um, and I will get into the pay. I know everybody was like, what's up with the guarantee? What's up with that? I see a lot of other drivers stopping me and asking me, hey, is that true? The guarantee pay true? This, this, that, that? Yeah, it is true. Now, if you depends on when you want, I run 12 and 2. Go home, run out 12 and 2, 12 days for the rest of the regional, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Utah, California, Arizona, sometimes Texas, sometimes Arizona, sometimes Arizona, sometimes Mexico, spirit rarely. Um, and fucking flat out of here, shit. Um, but 12 and 2 gets you the guarantee. Um, every, it, it all depends on how much I run, like if I'm late and stuff. It just depends. Like you can't decline loads. You have to do what the hell you're supposed to do. Just can't be out here parlaying at gas stations and shit, not doing what you're supposed to do, not running, not running that day, you know, not making stuff, not trying to be on time, not doing what you need to do, and then expect to get paid. No, it doesn't work like that. The fuck was that? I don't know. That was pretty loud. But anyway, um, so you can stay out for either a week, and you, I think, you get paid like a thousand dollars, or uh, I think it was like a thousand dollars. Depends on where you at, the state and stuff. I'm just talking about up here. I think it was like a thousand dollars to. It was like a thousand dollars to, uh, uh, yeah, a thousand dollars or close to eleven hundred dollars. Now, if you stay out for twelve and two, that goes up to like fourteen to to seventeen to four. It all depends because you run a hazmat load too. That's extra. I got I got my has I run hazmat load sometimes. I only run one so far, which that kind of gave me a good little bump up there. Um, so that one goes between 14 and 16. Then you got 18 and three, that goes up. I don't know, it just all depends too how you ran, like 17 and stuff. It just all depends how you run and the loads that you get and stuff on everything that you do. So the guarantee breaks down differently. Don't know everything, but the guarantee is true. If you ever talk to someone, now the reefer goes off. But yeah, it is true, the guarantee, but it all depends on you and what you can, you know, how you go about things. So I'm not going to hold y'all that long. Um, show y'all the GPS codes and some more of the reefer stuff and, you know, little tricks and stuff to clean out the trailer. So when you get here, oh, make sure you got a vest when you come to Martin too. Make sure you got a vest. A lot of people don't have a vest and they try to go on their first delivery. Um, then they'd be like, I can't actually get in here. I have to go back to a truck stop, buy a vest. Make sure you have a vest. Make sure you have some safety glasses. Um, some places are, want you to require to wear a hard hat. Port of, port of Townstead, they haven't said anything, but um, God said something. It kind of said something one time when I went up there. So safety glasses. Um, I got a little folder like this. So I can just keep my paper and stuff in. Um, um, understand, don't be scared to ask questions to other drivers. Understand the difference. Like, you know, you have to be 12,000. You could be over like 12,080 on your steers. No more than 34,000 on your drives. No more than 34,000 on your tandems. Uh, on your trailer. So if you ever go to a place and you over that and you can't fix it, call you know just go back and say you need to rework don't if i don't know y'all previous situations y'all might have been you know doing something local not putting that much weight then you come here anything over eighty thousand, you can't fix it's, it's it's messed up you can't fix it so it's a lot of things that i didn't know of <laughs> before i got here yeah 
Yeah. So, all right, that's just about it, man. I got geared to roll out, man. I'm gonna go down here to Oakland and uh, drop another video on Oakland. It's this place to see how it is. Let y'all know what's going on when we get there. Um, all right, see y'all.